We have shocking news about the Apple iPhone 12 in a new hands-on video, but I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So we've had plenty more leaks about the upcoming Apple iPhone 12 including new hands-on footage, news that the display might not be what we expected and more reports suggest we could be seeing some delays. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're a fan of Apple iPhones and let me know in the comments what version of the iPhone 12 you're looking forward to the most. Now sadly, the first bit of information today is about the 120Hz ProMotion display on the iPhone 12. We've been advised by many leakers that the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max are going to be coming with a ProMotion 120Hz display. Ross Young tweeted a couple of days ago to say that this isn't going to be the case and Apple won't be providing it until 2021. He previously stated that Apple wouldn't implement the 120Hz into the iPhone 12 because they're going to wait until they can adapt the LTPO power saving technology and it appears he's sticking to this information. Now although this is some bad news, I'm personally going to be taking it with a pinch of salt for now and assume it's wrong. Ross Young has been incorrect with a few things now and he's had to change a few of his leaks already so hopefully he is wrong again. Of course it's not going to be long until we find out and I'll update you guys if we hear anything more. Next up we have news of more iPhone 12 delays and the reports suggest they could be anywhere from 4 weeks to 2 months behind schedule. Now this doesn't mean there's definitely going to be a delay in the launch or release of the iPhone 12 but it means Apple do have some catching up to do in order to make up for lost time. So not great news for those of you that are impatient but hopefully they do speed up the progress and release on time. Finally, we had a hands-on video of the iPhone 12 appear from YouTuber ASBYT. Unfortunately though, it appeared they were just models and his models also seemed to be inaccurate and accompanied by some false information. He showed us three models created for the Apple iPhone 12 and advised that there wouldn't be a fourth. Now I think he simply had some confusion here because there are only three sizes of the iPhone 12 but there will of course be four different versions. The iPhone 12 Max and the iPhone 12 Pro are both going to be the same size coming in with a 6.1 inch display but they are however separate versions of the phone. He also has a triple camera setup for all three models of the iPhone 12s which again is incorrect according to many sources. My source and many other leakers have provided information that points to the two smaller models having a dual camera and the two more premium having a triple camera setup along with the additional lidar sensor. Now of course we can't say he's wrong because nothing is confirmed until it comes from Apple themselves but my advice would be to ignore for now. If the models have come from a case manufacturer they may only get sizes of the rectangular module and not the specific lens layout and it also looks as if it may have been based on the same early prototype CAD that we saw from Mako Takara a few months back. For those who do want the detailed specs of what we'll likely see for each model of the iPhone 12, we're going to run through the displays as well as the rest of the hardware. For my regular viewers, you guys have already seen this so just skip to the next video but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we're going to get right into it. So to start with we've got the entry level model of the Apple iPhone 12 and this is of course going to be called the iPhone 12. It's a 5.4 inch iPhone with an OLED Super Retina display from Samsung. Now it's important to note straight off the bat that Super Retina means absolutely nothing so don't get too caught up on that. But it's going to be an OLED display at a resolution of 2340 by 1080 which gives us 475 pixels per inch and it has an 8 bit color depth. While there have been rumours of all models having a 120Hz display, unfortunately this model is 60Hz only. It's going to be equipped with 4GB of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 storage and it's made of an aluminium body and of course uses the A14 Bionic with 5G support. The iPhone 12 comes with a dual camera setup on the rear and it will of course be shipping with iOS 14. For those of you that want the iPhone 12 with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 storage, it's going to be launching at $649. If you want 4 gigs of RAM and 256 storage, it's $749. 
Next up, we've got the iPhone 12 Max. To be clear, this is the Max and not the Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Max has a 6.1 inch OLED display. This is again a Super Retina OLED display, but provided by Chinese manufacturer BOE. It comes with a resolution of 2532 by 1170, and this gives us 460 pixels per inch, and it has an 8-bit color depth. We get 4 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 storage and of course the iPhone 12 Max is powered by the A14 Bionic chip. It's in an aluminium body, it's got 5G connectivity and we get another dual camera setup on the rear. For those of you that want the 128 gig version of the iPhone 12 Max, it's going to be launching at $749 and if you want the 256 gig version, it rises to $849. Next up, we've got the iPhone 12 Pro. The iPhone 12 Pro has a 6.1 inch display, so it's actually the same size as the iPhone 12 Max, but we've got an improved display and specs. On the iPhone 12 Pro, we've got a 6.1 inch Super Retina display with ProMotion and a 10 bit color depth. The display is manufactured by Samsung and it's got a resolution of 2532 by 1170, which gives us 460 pixels per inch, and it is, of course, a 120 hertz display. The iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256 or even 512 internal storage. It of course ships with Apple's A14 Bionic and the iPhone 12 Pro is 5G compatible. It comes in a stainless steel body and on the rear we get a triple camera setup along with a LiDAR sensor for the depth. For the 128 gig iPhone 12 Pro, it's launching at $999. For 256 gigs, it's $1,099. And for those that want the 512 gig iPhone 12 Pro, it's $1,299. Last but not least, we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7 inch OLED display. Again, it's a Super Retina with ProMotion, 10 bit color depth, and of course, it is manufactured by Samsung. It's got a resolution of 2778 by 1284, giving us 458 pixels per inch, and again, it's a 120 hertz display. It comes with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256 or 512 storage. It's in a stainless steel body and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course powered by the A14 Bionic with 5G support. Just like the iPhone 12 Pro, we get a triple camera setup on the rear along with the additional LiDAR sensor. For those of you that want the 128 gig iPhone 12 Pro Max, it's launching at $1,099. If you want the 256 gig version, it's $1,199. And for those that want the most expensive in the range, the 512 gig iPhone 12 Pro Max, it's launching at a whopping $1,399. Of course, there's plenty more information on the Apple iPhone 12, so we're going to run through it all now. For my regular viewers, you guys would have already seen this, so just switch off now. But for anyone new here, make sure you hit that subscribe and we're going to get right into it. We're expecting to get four new iPhone 12s in the range, which is going to be two different iPhone 12s, the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We're expecting Apple to increase the display sizes on the most premium models, although those who want a smaller display are still going to have an option. Reliable analyst Ming-Chi Kuo has advised that there's going to be two iPhone 12 versions. The smaller iPhone 12 is going to have a 5.4 inch display and the larger one will have a 6.1 inch. We then get a 6.1 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro and a 6.7 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Unlike last year however, all models are reportedly going to be using an OLED display and the resolution will differ across the range. The 6.1 inch iPhone 12 will likely have a lower resolution than the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 Pro. And while there are rumors of Apple removing the notch, I really can't see this happening. In typical Apple fashion, we're still expecting a full screen display with a notch top center. It's too early for in-display camera sensors and I can't see Apple going for a punch hole. They also need a time of flight sensor on the front for their 3D face unlock. And while Apple did ditch the fingerprint scanner on the iPhone 10, there are reports that it's going to be coming back in the form of an in-display fingerprint scanner. 
There are reports suggesting that Apple are also going to be increasing their refresh rates on the latest displays. While most phones have stuck to 60Hz displays, it's been changing recently and Apple are also going to be joining this trend. At this stage, we don't know if they're going to be using 90Hz, 120Hz or even a mixture of the two across the range. When it comes to the rear of the device, we're expecting a similar camera setup to last year, but the more premium model will have more cameras. Ming-Chi Kuo has again advised that both the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max are going to be adding time-of-flight cameras to the rear. For those unaware, time-of-flight cameras are 3D depth cameras and then what Apple uses on the front for the 3D face unlock. The time-of-flight sensors on the rear, however, use slightly different technology that allow it to map 3D objects from further away. This significantly improves augmented reality applications and allows for more improved portrait-style photo and video effects. We're likely going to see slight upgrades on the other cameras of the iPhone 12s, but given the great performance in its predecessor, they won't be changing things too much. Reports are suggesting that the two more budget models are going to have a dual camera setup, while the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max are going to have a quad camera setup with the inclusion of the 3D depth camera. The iPhone 12 is of course going to be powered by the new A14 Bionic processor. This is actually manufactured using 5 nanometer lithography, which will bring significant improvements and there's a good chance that it will be the first 5 nanometer chipset to hit the market. When it comes to RAM, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is expected to come with 6 gigs of RAM, while the standard iPhone 12 will only have 4. This is something that I think Apple actually do well compared to Android manufacturers, where they throw in unnecessarily large amount of memories, causing the consumer to pay for memory that they don't even need. When it comes to storage, you're expecting a choice of 64, 256 or 512 gigs of internal storage. For the first time ever, consumers felt Apple did a great job in prioritizing the battery life on the predecessor, so hopefully that's something that's going to continue with the iPhone 12. While graphene batteries are still out of the question, we can expect a 5.4 inch iPhone 12 to be around 2800 mAh, the 6.1 inch is probably going to be around 3150 and the 6.7 inch should contain around a 4300 mAh battery. One thing that is a little unknown at the moment is of course 5G connectivity. Apple are very bad when it comes to 5G thanks to earlier issues with Qualcomm, so we're unsure at this stage if that's something we will see in the iPhone 12. It's rumored that the iPhone 12 is going to have 5G connectivity, but there aren't actually any leaks or reports to back that up. The iPhone 12 is going to be IP68 water resistant and it's of course going to ship with iOS 14. Now when it comes to the price, people wanted lower prices and that's exactly what we're getting. Apple surprised us last time, they surprised us again with the iPhone SE and now the iPhone 12 is going to be the same. We'll be getting the base 5.4 inch iPhone 12 starting at $649, the iPhone 12 6.1 inch at $749, the iPhone 12 Pro 6.1 inch at $999 and finally the iPhone 12 Pro Max 6.1 7 inch phone at $1,099. Some very reasonable prices from Apple who have clearly been focusing on keeping the cost down. Of course, it's not all about specs and we're likely going to see some new software features or improvements to the current features in iOS 14. The iPhone 12 is set to launch in September as always and it's always around the second week they release so we can expect to see the iPhone 12 range on either the 8th or the 15th of September and the iPhone 12 will be released about 10 days afterwards. Of course, being so far away, these are leaks and rumors but as more information comes to light, I'll be sharing with you guys straight away. As always though, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Apple iPhone 12? And if not, then what phone are you waiting for? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.